uh, the culture or uh, the even the artists uh, in uh, in France. I know that there is so many different ways to make design, and uh, I work at, as a designer for movie industry. I didn't have a lot of experience, but uh, uh, I work with uh, EuropaCorp. It's a French uh, production uh, studio uh, of Luc Besson. Do you heard about him? Uh, oh, Besson, of course, yes. Yeah, he's wonderful. <laughs> okay, and uh, I, I worked on an uh, author and the uh, and the Invisible. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a great film. That was yeah. very enjoyable. That was cool. That was my first experience, and I was th 23 years old, and it was just amazing to work with him, because. Uh, what a wonderful start for you. Yes, yeah. that's just terrific. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, I remember that uh, just uh, uh, before to work uh, on the, with the back up uh, with the Besson, I, I I was looking for some job, and it was just horrible, and. Uh, <laughs> I spend a lot of time to eat some pasta, you know. Yeah. I'm still eating pasta, but I'm going fat, so I need to find another way to 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 eat my life. <laughs> but it was a, a great experience, and I met a lot of uh, amazing designers, uh, and they had a lot of uh, experience in the in this. Uh, I, I worked with the guy who has worked on, worked on uh, the fifth element. Uh, oh, yes. And uh, Patrice Garcia, he was the art director of uh, Arthur and the Invisible. And it was just amazing. Uh, he, he had such experience. So it was great. I met uh, other French uh, designers. Uh, uh, there are less. Um, <laughs> we, we don't really. You, I don't think that you know them, but they are really good. And uh, uh, the the good thing was with Luc Besson. Uh, we, he, he really liked to work with uh, the artists and, and um, give them their their chance to express themselves. And I spent about five years to work on the first movie, and we we have seen all the you know the. The production uh, uh, stages, stages yeah. and it was just uh, such a pleasure to see uh, uh, you make a draw, and there, there is a guy who makes the 3D model and the animation, and uh, uh, all the people who uh, make the, um, the set. Uh, it, it was just an exper uh, a crazy experience, for sure. And after what what I uh, I worked on another movie. It's more. Um, it was a um, cartoon. Uh, uh, a monster in Paris. Uh, I was just making the advertisement. You know, all the design for the cover or something like this. And uh, and what is my experience after? <laughs> now I, I work on in, more in video games because uh, I really like to create universe. Uh, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time to to increase my experience in um, in you know in the illustration. Uh, I really love to make some universe and create some characters, and this is my favorite part of the job. But um, uh, always the creation is. Uh, for me, the creation is the more important thing in, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and uh, Christophe here will uh, send you his uh, present for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's our book. So and uh, I, I and, uh, wow. with the post, uh, post mail. He'll send you uh, by the post. So you yeah. can oh, that was it. great. That's very kind of you. You are, <laughs> you are, you are welcome. <laughs> welcome. Okay. That's, very, that's very kind of you. I much appreciate that. <laughs> and in fact, I have two books that I'll be sending to you uh, that will be coming out next month. One is the 30-year uh, anniversary Jedi making out book. Well, the Blue Stone is releasing. Also another book favorite. called uh, For a uh, The Art of Movie Story Wars. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and that's uh, uh, being released by IMAX Print uh, Publishing, which has done a lot of books on the uh, art of filmmaking, okay. and they have some terrific storyboard artists in there, going all the way back to uh, Hitchcock's days. 
Okay. Thank you very much. They were. The woman who put this together worked very hard. She was calling all around the world for months to gather these things. You know, chasing down, you know, people like Minter Huebner's uh, widow and all these studios. And I, I, I really sympathize how difficult it was for her to get everything together, but she did it. She did it. It's great. To so um, this should be uh, quite an exceptional book. <laughs> Pascal is uh, showing you the in reverse, of course. Ah, yes, <laughs> yes. The concept also, you, you, you can flip the, the images. Symmetry. So, you can um, give me your um, uh, address in a Skype uh, line? Uh, or I don't know. And we'll send you. Yeah. The book, so. Okay. Uh, uh, Australia? Australia. Australia. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's far away, but it's so close. <laughs> We've <laughs> 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 uh, Jean Denis, with this kind of uh, timid guy, he wants to. Yes. <laughs> well, but uh, without him, no, no one here will be together. So uh, I thank you again. Uh, He's I thank, thank again, <laughs> Jean Denis, the, the man in the shadow. Yeah, but <laughs> without yeah. him, there was. Yes. There is nothing. He's the master, in fact. The man behind the scenes. He is asking, uh, uh, in the professional way, what was your best experience with? Uh, what was the, the best director you've worked with? I know you have a great experience with Tim Burton on other other guy, but what, for you, what is the best collaboration you have with a director? Uh, that's a very tough question. Yes, I, I, yes. Can, I can imagine. So it's the the tricky question. I, I mean, but I think that all the director he worked with was the best. Were the best. <laughs> well, not George Pan, Pan Cosmatos. I don't think so. Really? George. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all uh, they all have specific qualities, and almost all of them I appreciate, them, of course, because of that. Mm. Um, the more, the more complex the personality, the more interesting the director. And so people like Peter Weir and, uh, uh, you know, Richard Williams, mm. who playing Roger Rabbit, uh, certainly Spielberg and Lucas, mm. extremely interesting people to work with. Okay. Uh, Tim, yeah, I you know, really did enjoy working with him, at least on Batman. and. Uh, as I mentioned in my seminar, I was quite disappointed by James Cameron. Right. Yes. Very intelligent, very sharp, mm -hmm. but a real asshole. <laughs> you know, really, really uh, doesn't deserve to live, honestly. <laughs> well, but uh, everybody knows that it's, uh, it's not a, a secret about James Cameron. Uh, yes. No, no, he's, he's really, really a repulsive human being. He's really, you know. Um, so, yeah, I would say those are certainly the highlights to date. And each one of those artists were interesting for different reasons. Mm -hmm. you know? um, we know how excited Gilbert and Lucas are about the art of filmmaking. They're, okay. they're, they're really wonderful that way. Peter Weir is much cooler and approaches it almost like a science project, mm. but he's a very deep, uh, deep intellectual. We were able to have conversations about matters that pertain to film and, and related specifically to Master and Commander. Mm -hmm. I found very, very engaging and, and rather refreshing. Yeah. Um, and you know, eclectic people like Tim Burton are such a treasure because Hollywood doesn't really allow many of those people to have access to make budgets and uh, to to make films the way they want to. Mm. He, he somehow got past the past the barriers and he had a very successful career just being himself. So I have a lot of a lot of respect. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, notamment avec Mobius, quoi. And here we have uh, Pascal. Uh, he worked with uh, Jean Giraud, Moibus. Moibus. Yes. He worked on um, different thing um, on a on party, on party for for him yes. to um, uh, um, doing together on, a, on one uh, art um, 
thing, uh, mm -hmm. art project. Uh, uh, I send you the link. It's outside my. Uh, yes, please. Okay. And uh, I'm. I film him for uh, in uh, Angoulême show, um, festival of comics. In mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. I record a lot of uh, of a person. Benjamin, do, do you know? Uh, uh, this guy, it's a Chinese guy who uh, painting with a lot of color, a uh, lot of girl, uh, essentially. I send you the, 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 the video. Yes, please. A lot of I make some character design, drawing, a lot of tiny what can you uh, tell me about the status of the uh, European film industry at this point? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> well, it, I know from know. country to country, of course, it varies as well, but obviously everyone is affected by the, by yeah, the economic yeah. turn down yeah. and, and the, the other the series of convulsions that are going on. But, but, right. um, but you know, here in Europe. What is your general feeling about where it's heading? But, each country has its own uh, cinema industry, you know, it's hard to, to, to say where well, in Europe it's that, it's more in France it's like that, in Belgium yep. it's like that, in Spain it's like that, so uh, we can, enfin, I can talk for Belgium and uh, Christophe yep. more for, for France, well, I, I, I told you about the, the industry in Belgium, where we, it's an uh, emergent industry, one century after the, the creation of cinema, now we have an industry creating in Belgium, so uh, we have not a lot of resource, but uh, everything is moving, so uh, it's kind of um, uh, artisanal in English. Yeah. Uh, if you, if craft, you know, here we try to, to make movies with very low budget. Well, yeah. I, I myself work in a micro budget, I mean, I mean uh, and but uh, we have, uh, with the digital cameras, and we, we can create, and it's the more important, but uh, it's very hard to, uh, to, to have uh, uh, the, the support and, uh, and the, 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 the distribution here, it's very, it's quite a mess. I think, and uh, especially for the kind of story I want to 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 to, to, yeah. to tell. I mean, uh, the fantasy here. It's uh, just I, like I say uh, in our last conversation. It's quite well. It's, it's considered as a child hobby. I mean, <laughs> not much as a as an adult conception and creation. So uh, mm. it's quite hard in Belgium for us. Mm. So uh, yeah, but it seems. Uh, from France to see uh, some Belgian films, you have um, that's interesting because, uh, uh, like you have a small budget, mm -hmm. uh, you make some greater story. You know, I, I think that you work more on the emotions, uh, mm -hmm. just with the psychological uh, mm -hmm. aspect of the movie, mm -hmm. and it's really interesting. I, I really loved some movie that uh, has been done in Belgium, mm -hmm. uh, especially from uh, Benoît Pouvard. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, comment um, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. This is a crazy movie. Uh, mm -hmm. They made a, Benoît Pouvard is a Belgian film director, and you have done the movie of uh, the story of a guy who is a killer and uh, it's shot like a uh, TV uh, TV show in fact yeah and, uh, you know some reality real reality TV yeah. and yeah. it's just a guy who came with a camera and uh, uh, filmed this uh, crazy uh, serial killer mm -hmm. and he, the Benoît Pouvoir explained how to kill somebody and how to hide the body <laughs> and it's just it's oh it's horrible, but it's just so funny. But in fact, uh, Doggy Dog is uh, the, the English title. Yeah. It was um, it was a student film, in fact. Yeah. Uh, Rémi Belvaux, the director, was wow. uh, was sh shoot it during his uh, study, right. and uh, uh, the movie was not loved at all in his uh, in school uh, in the Assa, So. Uh, well, it's quite a miracle this movie finally goes to the theaters and that uh, it can make a kind of uh, uh, become a cool movie.